Hello, I'm Miss Wanda from the Naperville Public Library, and I've been an early childhood educator for over 30 years. This video will demonstrate the correct way for a child to learn how to hold their pencil and how to print his or her first name. First of all, primary or beginner pencils are best. Not only are these pencils thicker and easier for a child to hold, the lead is softer and makes it easier for a child to write. These regular pencils are not in the best interest of a young child. When learning to hold a pencil, the child first needs to pinch the pencil with the thumb and the pointer finger and rest the pencil on the middle finger. Your last two fingers do not touch the pencil. This same grip is used with left-handed children. Pinch the pencil with the thumb and the first finger, rest it on the middle finger. When learning to write your name, remember that the first letter and only the first letter is capitalized. The rest of the letters need to be lowercase. Please know all capital letters when writing your first names. It would be best if a child sees his or her name as an infant written this way in print with just the first letter capitalized and the other letters in lowercase. I'm a pencil straight and tall. As I grow older, I grow small. With me today, Rosie and Carvin. And these girls will demonstrate to you the four basic strokes that a child needs to accomplish prior to writing the letters of the alphabet. Once these strokes have been achieved, a child can write any letter of the alphabet successfully. I like to start with a long skinny sheet of paper, draw a green line on the top, because the child knows that green means go, and a red line on the bottom, because red means stop. I would suggest that you use a crayon instead of a marker. A crayon does leave a waxy feel on the paper that a child can feel with the pencil as they're starting and stopping and writing. Rosie is going to show you the first stroke, basic stroke, the vertical line. Put the green line at the top, the red line on the bottom, and the child will just make vertical lines from top to bottom. It's important that these vertical lines always go top to bottom. Green line to red line. The next lines a child needs to learn are the horizontal lines. Carmen will show you how the green line is on the left side, the red line is on the right as she goes from left to right and draws horizontal lines. Remember, horizontal lines always go from left to right. Circles are next. The green line back at the top, red line on the bottom. Circles seem easier than what they really are. Circles need to always start at the top. Touch the red line on the bottom, continuing back to the top always going in a clockwise motion. Rosie and Carmen will show you how they draw their circles. Remember, young children always need to start writing from top to bottom. All the world depends on me. I'm a pencil, don't you see? I'm going to show you some activities that you can do with your child to help him or her be able to hold a pencil and use a pencil correctly. The first activity we're going to show you is how to develop a pincher grip. And Rosie's going to pinch some cotton balls to help develop a pincher grip and holding a pencil correctly. Tweezer type activities help children develop a pincher grip too.
good activity for children to use to hold to develop a pincher grip is a pegboard with skinny pegs. When the children put pegs in these small pegboards, you will see they use the same three fingers that they need to use when holding a pencil. For gaining muscle strength in fingers, hammering activities are extremely helpful. I've had children from my teaching career that have used hammering toys daily, once on each side, and in three months you'll notice a remarkable difference in the strength in their fingers. Girls? These wooden toys work much better than the plastic ones. For improving general finger dexterity, scribble boards are wonderful to use where a child colors over a textured surface. On their simple scribble boards, can use something like this that you get from packing materials such as dishes. Anything with a textured surface a child can use as a scribble board. Something like this for recycling. Play-Doh. Play-Doh will not only increase your child's small motor development, it also develops creativity. Carmen, what are you making? I'm making a swan. And Rosie? A snowman. Wooden puzzles are another excellent way of developing small motor skills and increasing a child's thinking and problem solving abilities. Pegboards, hammering toys, scribble boards, play doh, and puzzles are examples of how a child's playing is work and how these toys improve a child's pencil holding skills and abilities. Thank you girls for coming to the library today and playing with us. Bye. I go to school with all the kids, try to help them write. I help them color in and draw as they hold me so tight. I'm a pencil straight and tall, as I grow older I grow small.